Andy is there live in Fruit Heights with our story. Jared? Brian, well, the rain has let up here a little bit in Fruit Heights, and that's welcome news for folks who live just below the Francis Fire burn scar, and that's because the city is asking residents who live out here to be prepared because all of this rain could create flooding or debris flow in and around the burn scar. Now, we spoke to a peach farmer. We're here right now. He lives just below the burn scar. He says last week he was worried about his crops burning. This week, flooding. He says he can't seem to catch a break. We stopped picking peaches at four. During a normal peach season, farmer Chris Healy says his only concern, selling peaches. But this season, happy we still have peaches. So. He's more concerned about saving his peaches from natural disasters. That's pretty scary. Um, we had all our stuff packed just in case we had to evacuate. Last week, fire officials say lightning sparked the Francis fire. Flames burned 365 acres, threatening Healy's growing operation. I grab sprinklers and a hose before I run. <laughs> but now Healy's worried about protecting his crops from flooding. The city of Fruit Heights says the heavy rainfall could cause debris flows or flooding from the Francis Fire burn scar. The flooding, um, I'd be more concerned for some of my other neighbors that are closer to the mountain. We're kind of set a little bit back from it, so so not as scary, but still something to be concerned about. That's why Healy. We might go grab a few bags for our window wells here. Says he'll take the city up on its free sandbags. Across the street from Healy's Peach Shop at the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, enough sandbag resources for residents to protect their homes. Fruit Heights is a great community for pulling together. Given the worst case scenario, flooding or a debris slide, Healy says he's prepared to ditch his peaches. If they needed a hand, I'd run over there to help them. Now, these are some of the largest, juiciest peaches locally grown right here in Fruit Heights I've ever seen. But all seriousness, flooding is a huge concern. If you need help getting sandbags or you have a concern with flooding, you're asked to call the city of Fruit Heights or the Davis County Sheriff's Department. Also, you can download our ABC4 Pinpoint Weather app for the latest changing weather conditions. Reporting live in Fruit Heights, Jared Jatsinini, ABC4 News. All right, thank you, Jared. New on Midday, a man is.